hey please give me one minute I know I really want you to watch the whole video but at least watch one minute so I can tell you who is George Sorzero Sorzero S O R O S George Sorzero George Sorzero is a man that is internationally banned because he makes money off of war destabilizing economies and destabilizing nations and countries through rioting and through eternal conflict right look him up he's going to be marked on wikipedia and google as a philanthropist he is no philanthropist um, he's a billionaire that is banned internationally by lim limited uh not limited to one vladimir putin in russia with a kill on site uh, order on him because of what he does in nations george sorzero Okay, why is this important? George Sojourner um, funds the, um, in short, the riotous um, left group of Antifa. And uh, what we see in our nations right now is that governors, mayors, and um, political leaders are saying all these riots and all of this violence are coming from people outside of their own state and um, people are literally importing violence, riots, chaos, destruction, and this man is um, paying for it and he is funding it. And so I have proof, please forgive the language, I really try against all of this, but y'all are not gonna believe me um, if I don't show proof. So here are um, different states speaking on how orchestrated all the violence and riots have been and also um, pallets of bricks being set up for a riot and for destruction and mob mentality. We didn't make an enormous number of arrests, but every single person we arrested last night, I'm told, was from out of state. What we are seeing right now is a group of people who are not from here. As I talk to my friends uh, who have been in this movement for a very long time, who wake up in this movement every day, and I ask them what they're seeing, what they're feeling, what they're hearing, to a person, I hear them say, we don't know these folks. We don't know these folks who are agitating. We don't know these folks who are inciting violence. We don't know these folks who are first in to break a window. And those folks, who are agitating and inciting are taking advantage of the pain, of the hurt, of the frustration, of the anger, of the very real and legit. Unfortunately, with the rioting that is occurring in many of our cities around the country, the voices of peaceful protest are being hijacked by violent radical elements. Groups of outside radicals and agitators are exploiting the situation to pursue their own separate and violent agenda. In many places, it appears the violence is planned, organized, and driven by anarchic and left extremist groups, far left extremist groups, using Antifa-like tactics, many of whom travel from outside the state to promote the violence. Set up. Set up. They put them there on purpose, Y'all know where we at. They gonna set them hoes right up on the rail of Y'all know what building this is Come right here. Now. I ain't even gonna say what name it is. Hey, where do them bricks go to? Where do them this bricks is set go up. to? Where do them bricks we go to? We gotta do better. Ain't no damn construction. Gotta do better. Ain't no damn construction around here. I see. Ain't it. no damn construction around here. You just gonna set a pile of bricks right there. Oh, okay. Listen, I did jury duty three months ago. Y'all don't keep no bricks right there. Okay, 
I just came with a hammer and smashed the windows. Yeah, you're me. I'm gonna fight you right now. You wanna, you wanna go? What's, what's up? Okay, so you saw the video and why is it important? What like what does this mean? All right? It just means that you have to know what is happening in the spiritual realm in the spiritual significance of what the devil is doing and all this happening this week what is happening this week and y'all need to know prophecy in the name of jesus okay there is and everybody knows this there's the biggest prophecy of end time global harvest starting in the year 2020 2020 started off crazy but this has been prophesied for years that this was coming all right and um, what this means end time global harvest literally there's no exaggeration we say this all the time but this is the beginning of the end times we don't know how long the end times is going to last like literally um a day in heaven's courts is a thousand years jesus died and he's only been in the course of heaven two days okay um, but what this means is that end time global harvest this is the biggest wave of conversions we're not talking about thousands and a couple millions we're talking about billions of people giving their lives to Jesus and becoming Christians starting this year and the greatest outpouring of the Holy Spirit and supernatural gifts that you have ever seen in your life. Like we're literally talking about people being raised from the dead and we're not talking about impoverished nations and uh, um, places that are foreign and in the Middle East and in the East, um, like China, Africa, uh, all these other places that are not the United States. Western countries are going to be getting um, this outpouring of the supernatural, um, healing, miracles, all the stuff that you see in the Bible is going to be given out. He's going to pour out his spirit like literally never before. But on top of this prophecy um, is a start, an ignition point, which is this Sunday, tomorrow, the day of Pentecost. So, again, what does this mean um, with all these... Um, police brutality police brutality videos all this violence all this rioting happening happening the week before the devil knows what's happening in the spiritual realm he sees all this thing and he knows prophecy he knows the movements and is warring against this and i'm not gonna lie but People are being used by the devil and do not even see it. And Christians being used by the devil and do not even see it because you can't not even discern what spirit you are operating out of. And so this prophecy and this promise is starting on Sunday, tomorrow, the um, 31st with the greatest outpouring the begin, literally the beginning of this outpouring on the day of Pentecost. Uh, like we see in the book of Acts, I think it's Acts 2, right? And how do you stop that? You create division. You create a race war. You create riots um, within and without the body of Christ. And so this is what we have with um, stopping the con like the bonding the conjoining of the body of Christ by making division and what you see the coronavirus and COVID-19 was just a spirit of fear and um, the sin of unbelief literally separating the wheats of the tares boom uh, from people who are actually Christian and people who are not Christian within the church who are true disciples of Jesus Christ right um, boom you have that but you have this, literally this demonic video of a cop who is literally demon possessed, killing somebody. Like murder is something that is abominable to God. And what, what has the devil come to do? He has come to kill, he has come to steal, and he has come to destroy, right? You have this man killing this black man 
on camera. Boom, kill. And then you have what? Riots, looting, stealing, destroying local communities where we live. And, and what are you doing there? You are destroying things. You are destroying households. You are destroying black owned businesses. I live in Atlanta. What are you doing? This is the hub and city place of black wealth, black police officers, black businesses, but you are going into Buckhead, stealing Louis Vuitton bags, Chanel bags from a black owned woman business. And you're saying that it's because of like collateral damage? You don't know what spirit you are of. You are of the devil operating that way. And you can let the title on y'all. Yo, what's up, my bitch? You call it black power. Uh, you mad at the white man? Why destroy my business? Why destroy my truck? Why steal my computer? I'm trying to make it. Could you understand that? Get y'all see it. I'm trying to make it. Today, we found Corboy Bala, who invested his life savings into opening this sports bar, cleaning up. While our camera was there, looters came back to try to steal his safe. Right, trying to steal the safe. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna work so hard to get here. So hard. Your frustrations, and I would love for you to share them with the community right now because you and so many others are going through such a rough time. How's, how was last night? Scary. I live in the high rise right back here and I seen them as they came down Lake Street. But then they turned and started coming over here and I'm sitting out looking in my out my window. And they went straight to Office Max, the dollar store, and every store over here that I go to. I have nowhere to go now. I have no way to get there because the buses aren't running. These people did this for no reason. It's not going to bring George back here. George is in a better place than we are. Last, last night, I'm going to be honest, I wish I was where George was because this is ridiculous. These people are tearing up our livelihood. This is the only place I could go to shop. And now I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have anywhere to get there. Experience just by being born a certain color in this country. Uh, but Atlanta is a place uh, where we can set an example of prosperity, and we've done that for generations. People like Doc, Dr. King, uh, uh, Maynard Jackson, Ambassador Young have paved the way for us. Um, and it, w when everything else goes away, when you don't get treated right in New York, when you don't get treated right in LA, when you can't get treated right in Detroit, when you don't get treated right in St. Louis, when you don't get treated right in, the, in Alabama, Atlanta has been here for us. This city don't deserve it. However, I understand that a lot of others do, but we can't do this here. This is Wakanda. It's sacred. It must be protected. Yo, it's cool. The world's going to do whatever, but Christians doing this crap is so stupid that you um, preach this crap. You preach that you know God and you can't even discern George Sorcero. You don't even know who he is. That he is a man that is banned internationally from different countries because he destabilizes economies, governments, um, political offices by paying billions of dollars to set up riots, bricks, Antifa to come into your state, into your providence to destruct and destroy unity. And, bro, you were made for a time such as this. Be a leader. Be a leader. Jesus has never followed the masses. The masses are rioting. The masses are being violent. Violence is a sin, a sin that is abomination in the book of Proverbs to God. Anger, an abomination to God. But you are teaching people and telling people, oh, um, that's enough forgiveness. It's enough. They're killing us. What Bible are you reading? 
They killed Jesus. They killed the disciples. They killed the apostles. But you want to preach another narrative, another gospel, a doctrine of devils. You don't know what spirit you are of. Gosh, you need to repent. A, you don't even know li alone, starting off, a natural man named George Sorcero who pays people to destroy nations. How can you discern spiritual wickedness, devils, demons operating in people? But you want to say that's enough peace as a Christian. And this is what I want to say most importantly um, to Christians and what this means for you. God is promoting and demoting at this time. He is, and that's the thing, you will be forgiven. The blood of Jesus still works, but it does not mean you have not disqualified yourself. You were, you have the promise on your life. You were an Isaac, but your rebellion, your sin, your stuff that you have been posting on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, made you an Ishmael. The promise is off of you. You have been replaced. Replaced. Disqualified yourself in rebellion. Talking crazy about stop forgiveness, stop peace, stop all this crap. And how? How can you read the Bible and say this? You can't even discern what spirits and demonic forces are telling you to say this two days before Pentecost, one day before Pentecost, and you're going to have to repent. You're going to have to eat your words, your false prophecies that you are saying right now. I just want to get to the word. Ephesians 6, talk about the full armor of God. It says, Ephesians 6, 11, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darknesses of this world, against spiritual weaknesses, wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take up the full armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having gird your loins about with truth and having the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching therefore with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. This is what we're doing. You can't even discern a natural man uh, that is like he's a ruler. Um, and it's crazy that he's allowed in the United States for his crimes against humanity. And rulers, witnesses, principalities, you don't even know what's happening in these nations. You don't even know the powers at hand. You don't even know the money flows and what's happening in the government. <sighs> but you're saying all these things. You're moving. You're doing all these things. Um, <sighs> Let me go to this, um, 2 Corinthians 10. Um, oh, my goodness. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down all imaginations, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and brings into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. We are not warring against racism. We are not warring against police. We are not warring against flesh and blood. We are warring against darknesses, rulers, powers, principalities, the devil, and demons. And you, as a professing Christian, have disqualified yourself from what God wanted to do two days later, one day later, on the day of Pentecost, leading into the rest 
of 2020. The rest, bro, this outpouring of the Holy Spirit is a revival that is literally lasting 10 to 30 years. And you disqualified yourself and demoted yourself in a moment by speaking against the things of God, speaking against rebellion. Uh, no, not speaking against rebellion, being rebellious, this, the sin of witchcraft. And repent in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Ask for it. Man, you will be forgiven by God. But it does not mean you will not be replaced. You may or may not get into heaven. I don't know your life. But I know what God was going to use you for. All these supernatural things you wanted to do. Raise people from the dead. Have the blind to see. Have the lame to walk. Healing lepers. You've been praying for this. And you disqualified yourself in a moment. For there are things that seem right in the mind of men that lead to destruction. <sighs> We're going to read and end with 2 Timothy 2, um, verses 25 and 26. In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If God, perhaps, or peradventure, will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. The devil's will is in the world right now as just a precursor, as a counterfeit, as a perverted thing to stop and make division in the body of Christ to stop out the outpouring in the prophet, he's not stopping the prophecies. He's not stopping the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Um, the greater works that the Bible listed. These things are coming starting tomorrow, Sunday, May 31st, day of Pentecost. And um, literally just pray. Pray, like, pray that people be leaders. The gospel does not move. Our positions as Christians and our behaviors don't move. Um, seeking this, uh, the fruit of the Spirit, patience, love, joy, peace, faithfulness, goodness, gentleness, meekness, and self-control, rioting, stealing, all these abominable things need to be repented of. And if you were advocating for this stuff, talking about there's a time for violence, you're a liar. You're of your father, the devil, and he is using you. Repent in the name of Jesus. And if your heart just needs the cleansing of the blood of Jesus, confess after me and repent. Lord Jesus, I am sorry for the ways I have opened myself up to sin, to witchcraft, to rebellion, to iniquity, to transgressions and to be used by the devil i repent to be used by the occult to be used by spiritual weaknesses wickedness and rulers and powers in high places i repent for manipulation uh, the demonic the satanic and the blood of jesus in the name of jesus to be upon me lord i'm sorry for what's happening in the nation uh, we repent for the bloodshed and the demonic forces at play right now, um, creating division, um, having us to war as a body, having innocent blood to be spilt, demonic murders, abominable violence, stealing, justice, injustice, Lord. We ask for a cleansing. We ask for people who have disqualified themselves by making themselves Ishmael, by being racist against white people, being disgusting, being racist against black people, being disgusting, being bigoted and disgusting against police officers to repent in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, your fire gripped them. 
touch them right now to repent for their stony hearts. To move in peace and for the words that are in your courts that the accuser, the adversary, the devil that is using those words and accusations to disqualify them. We plead the blood of Jesus upon their lineage, upon their households, and upon their names, O oh Lord. Uplift them in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, have us to speak in new tongues. Have us to cast out demons. Have us to heal the sick. Have us to take care of the poor. Have us to drink poisonous things and recover. Have us to um, lay hands on the sick and they recover. Oh my Lord, see Jesus, have us to bind and step on scorpions, treading on them. In the name of Jesus, have your glory come unto us and to this generation. In the name of Jesus, Isenovo. Lord, rebuke the spirit of fear, the spirit of witchcraft, for COVID-19 is not real. Um, people are really dying by diseases, but the spirit behind it, let us discern with not natural eyes, but spiritual eyes. Have us eyes to see and ears to hear. Give us power, give us the full armor of God from the crowns of our heads to the soles of our feet with the armor of light. And the uh, weapons of warfare are spiritual. Have angels to minister unto us and go out before us in the name of Jesus. We pray, amen. Lord Jesus, we need you. Be leaders. Be Christ-like. Be ambassadors. <laughs>